if you have a problem with your stereo bus clipping um, I have a, a little trick for you um, it's and it's um, it's very very simple um, what you want to do is before you start mixing I want to take all of the tracks and sit on minus 10 dB right um, I can do it right now since um, you know I did it when I started mixing what, wanna, what you want to do is to um, take all your tracks you know normally um, all your tracks is sit at 0 dB um, but what happens when you have so many tracks playing at the same time is that um, the volume is, is building up and you know, stereo bus is getting overloaded so what you want to do um, is to take all the tracks and sit and set them at minus 10 dB just like this and then you can start mixing and um, if you set all tracks at 10 dB and it's still clipping you can go down to like minus 20 or something but um, I think you get the idea I just reloaded the project to um, show you, you guys my faders and as you see it's not really anything above fifth minus 15 dB um, I have a few in the, here and there but let's take the bass the only reason these two are so so loud is because I sent them to bus 7 and as you see bus 7 isn't really that loud um, that's a long story but I want you to take a listen number keep an eye on this number I'll just try to find um, somewhere in the song where it gets loud Pretty sure that's the um, the loudest place in the song, and um, it only got up to minus 16 dB, which is good because later in the process you want to master a track, and that's where you can make it loud. Um, but in your mix, you want to keep um, yeah your stereo output low, and maybe this is a bit too low. I would say minus 5 dB is the loudest, that, that would be great um, but that's a trick you can do if you have problems with your um, stereo output clipping so uh, good luck